In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning type 7, crack the horizontal code. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at this question. And in this example, we have four shapes, each of them with their own two letter codes. And this is the same for all of the shapes. So our job is to find what each of these letters mean. And once we've done that, we'll have to use it to find the code for the shape on the right. So let's have a look at this example and let's start by looking at the top letters, which are Z, V, W and Z. As you guys could see, we have both of the same letters that are appearing twice. So this means that there's something common between these two shapes. The only thing that we can find that is in common between these two shapes is the fact that they're both spotted. So the pattern for both of these shapes is spotted. So this means the top letter is for the pattern and Z means it's spotted. Let's have a look at the shape on the right, which we'll have to work out. So in this shape, we have a black pattern. So it's completely shaded in black. If you look over here, which also has a black pattern, the top letter is a V. So this means the top letter for our question must be a V and we can write it down. So as a result, we could cross off B and E because they start with a Z and a W, not a V. Let's move on to the second letter which is K, N, H, and L. As you guys could see, none of these letters are the same, so this means that there's something different between all four shapes. The only thing that's different between all four shapes is the fact that they're all pointing in different directions. So in the first one, the arrow is pointing towards the right, the second, the arrow is pointing upwards, in the third, the arrow is pointing towards the left, in the fourth, the arrow is pointing down. So this means if we look at the shape on the right that we have, the arrows pointing towards the left. So if when the arrows pointing towards the left, the bottom letter is obviously H. So this means our answer for this question is VH. So as a result, we can cross off A and D and we're left with C. So our answer to this question is C. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, let's do the same thing as we did before in the previous examples. Let's start by looking at the first letters, which are O, T, R, T. As you guys could see, we have both of the letters appearing twice. So this means that there's something common between these two shapes. The only thing that we can find in common is obviously the way in which the shapes are drawn. They're both dotted. So this means the top letters for all of them stands for the way in which the shape is drawn. So let's have a look at the shape on the right. The shape on the right is dashed. So here we have a dashed shape and for it, we have R as a first letter. Since our shape is dashed, it must mean that R must be our first letter and we can write that down. So let's write it down. As a result, R is our first letter. We can cross off C, D and E because they start with the T O and T, not with an R. So we're left with A and B. Now, let's look at our second letters, which are A, G, B, A. As you guys could see, A, G, B, A, we have two of the same letters appearing again, which are A's. So this means that there's something common between these two shapes. The only thing that's common between these two shapes is the fact that they both have a black circle. Both of them have a black circle. So this means the color of the circle is the bottom letter. So the color of a circle we have right here is gray. For gray, the bottom letter is a G. So this means our answer for this question is RG. And let's cross off any of the options in which RG is not there. So let's cross off B because it is RA. So our answer to this question is A. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.